What is your biggest dream? I want to sail across the Atlantic Ocean. I want to inspire and empower youth. A youth with an intellectual challenge. My big dream would be Star Wars. I want to travel by horseback and camelback across continents. My dream is to have different people coming together to have fun, make art and make connections. A blind lady. I want to be able to fly around the world alone, enjoying the clouds, taking the sights, the smells as well as to feel how it's like above the cloud and to know what is cloud nine. <laughs> my greatest dream is to set up my own theatre company. A man signs. My big dream is to write a best-selling book, which leads to my bigger dream, early retirement, which leads to my biggest dream, to travel the world. I want to open a bus company and hire only Mark Chi to drive. My greatest wish is to have a magic portal to experience people's life and to see the world through their eyes. Hi, I'm the director of Not In My Lifetime and my biggest dream is to let everybody have a chance to watch a theatre performance at least once in their lifetime. The director turns towards two large doors, pushes them open, and we enter a dimly lit room. A cane chair sits on the right in the distance. In front of the chair, a tall young lady dances, one hand above her head, holding up the hem of her black dress, twirling gracefully. The room magically transforms and we see a counter about waist height with diagonal strips of light across its front. The word dream in large, bright, neon lights appears behind it. In the middle of the counter stands an empty martini glass and a shot glass filled with cherries. The young lady returns, this time dressed like a bartender with a black vest. She carries a martini shaker and with a flourish, pours its contents into the glass. She picks up a cherry and drops it neatly into the martini glass to complete the drink. She looks at us, picks up a wine bottle, then walks away from the counter. We follow her into another magical room with small lights far away that twinkle, looking like stars in the night sky. Right in front of us is a wine glass, sitting on a table, along with a tray of lit candles that give off a warm glow. Wine is being poured into the glass. On the left, the same young lady is now sitting, dressed in a black dress with a dark red scarf. She smiles and laughs as she picks up the wine glass, brings it to her nose to take a sniff, and takes a sip. She sings happily as she gets up with wine glass in hand and sachets past the table as we follow her into a different type of room and disappears from sight. This room is brightly lit. Tall shelves stand on the left, taller than the average human being, and they are filled with containers of all shapes and sizes. The young lady reappears from behind the shelves, this time dressed in white and wearing dark trimmed glasses. She peruses the shelves, takes a pot from the shelf, reaches into the pot and touches something inside. She smiles with satisfaction and walks away from the shelf. We enter a darkened living room with a ceiling lamp over a dark sofa on the right. White cloths are draped over the back of the sofa. The lights come on and now we see a slender green watering can on a small low table nearest to us. The lady returns in a dress and a headpiece both the same colour as the watering can. She is carrying the pot from the previous room and kneels in front of the table and uses the watering can to water the contents of the pot. But there is no water in the can and the reality of things seems to be changing. The lady gets up and walks towards us. We follow her into a dark space where time is in fast forward mode. Here the young lady is changing into a new outfit a white top and red shorts with thin suspenders. Two other people help her to tie her hair in pigtails, put on the dark rim glasses again and hand her a closed umbrella. Time returns to normal as the young lady leaves the space and takes a step up onto a block. She steps lightly from the first block onto another, into another, as though she is crossing a bridge, holding the umbrella behind her head and we follow her until she stops. The room becomes brighter as she looks around. All the previous rooms she visited can now be magically seen in one large space. 
The tall shelf is on the right. In front of it is the sofa with the lamp. The counter is in the center. There are black and white blocks scattered around on the floor. As the young lady turns, we see that on the blocks are bright bold letters which form the words, Not in my lifetime. The young lady sits down on a block next to the last letter. She droops her head and sighs. She looks up and decides to open up the umbrella. The umbrella has a question mark on it and the words now read, Not in my lifetime? Interviewees in order of appearance Inch Chua, Daniel Baodan, Kevin Chang, Ang Cheng Yen, Myra Lok, Lim Li Li, Abel Ko, Alvin Yap, Shai, Evelyn Chai, Young Lady, Nix Sang, Co directors, Taki and Tan Beng Tian, Director of Photography, Taki, Art Director, Lim Chin Huat, Composer, Daniel Baodan Audio Describer Timothy Nghe Recordist Inch Chua Behind the Scenes Video Lin Ki Project Manager Vivier Teo Special Thanks to Gateway Academy Taki's Photography Lim Chin Huat Tan Beng Tian Vivier Teo Lam Tan Fung Marissa Tang Abel Ko Ang Cheng Yen Ong Kian Sin Isabel Yi Myra Lok, Nix Sang, Timothy Nghe, Inch Chua, Evelyn Chai, Shai, Muhammad Ama Nazrul Haq, Lim Li Chuan, Kyungsu Kathy Han, Vignesh Kumar Singh, Chen Jingjing, Shreyansh Daga, Daniel Baodan, Alvin Yap, Kevin Chang, Cecilia Lai, Lim Li Li, Lim Xue En, Lin Ki. Friends from the media, Everyone who has helped make the video production possible in one way or another. Supported by Taki's Photography, Arts Fund, Cultural Matching Fund, SPH Foundation and its Arts Fund, Binjai Tree, Tan Chin Tuan Foundation, Advocacy Partner, Singapore Drama Educators Association, Event Partner, Ethos Books, Tactile Markers Partner, Kinetics Industries Private Limited, Official Legal Advisor, Samuel Xiao Law Corporation, Official Magazine, Muse, Official Community Partner, Passion Card, An Inclusive Theatre Experience Co-Presented with Gateway Academy, Presented by The Finger Players.